Hi, I'm Skyler. If you've got a story to tell, an iPad is one of the best tools you could possibly have in your arsenal. It can transmit things wirelessly to, say, an Apple TV, which you've got hooked up to a projector or a television, and that way you can move around the room, wherever you are, and do a presentation. You can look at notes on screen, and other people can see what you've put together. I recommend using an application called Keynote for actually building your presentations. Let me give you a tour now. Keynote was designed by Apple from the ground up to work wonderfully on iPad. It's a pretty old application as far as Apple is concerned. It's, uh, I think it first became available sometime in the early 2000s. I'm just going to create a presentation using the photo portfolio preset. So I'm going to double tap this area to edit and just type in, you know, yesterday. I'm going to tap it again and tap animate. I'm going to build in and let's see. Compress looks pretty good. I'm going to tap done. And so now when I play my slideshow, those letters will come in from the outside. I'm going to tap here in order to bring in a photograph. Pick the album I want and select the image. There we go. Again, with animations, I can make this appear if I want to. Tap animate, tap build in. Let's see. Have it wipe in. Shimmer in. Yeah, there we go. That's classy. That'll definitely sell the big, big portfolio. And I can easily adjust the size of this image if I want to. You'll notice that the guides which appear make it really easy to uh, resize things and make sure that they're arrayed according or aligned according to a grid. The controls up here allow me to change different elements. So I can change the style of this and change it to that one with the corners. That looks pretty good. Or this one. How about that? It's more subtle. I can also do style options and turn the border off if I want or on. I can also set up dashes. I can give it a little bit of texture. I can change the width of the border. Whatever I want to do in order to make it stand out a little bit. Okay, so one slide down. Over here I tap the plus in order to add a slide. Each of the uh, pre-built presentation formats in Keynote gives you a number of different types of slide to use. So I'm going to do a second page. And put in the subtitle here. Love the auto correction on iPad. Makes it super easy to do this sort of stuff. Tap here to add my first page. Choose another image. Like, uh, maybe this one. There we go. What is the image in? And I can stretch this out in order to show a little bit more of it if I want to. And move this text around. And Keynote is really good about making it easy to place things where you want and get them to say what you want. If you want to delete a slide, just rest your finger on it for a second, and controls appear, and you can tap delete. Delete again. We'll add another one. And let's see. Put it in this image of the taxi cab. Now let's say I want to make a transition between two slides. Tap here and tap transition. You've got a lot of different options here. Fall. So now when I add a slide on the back end of that, it'll appear when the last one falls over. So I'll tap here, tap play, and it reveals the slide behind it. So 
you can start to see already that Keynote presents a huge number of possibilities for building very creative presentations that look great and are sure to get your story across. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. Thank you.